Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about how to understand your value. Okay, so we're going to start off with two poignant Bible verses. Obviously, there's tons of Bible verses that you could look up in regards to worth or value. But these are the two that I picked out. For the first one, it's Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not evil, to give you a hope and a future. God's thoughts and feelings towards you are good. He has a plan for you, specifically for you. A specific plan of which details your whole entire life for you. So no failed relationship, no bad friendship, no cheating, no divorce, no bullying, mental illness, etc, etc. And outdo his plan. His plan is good. His plan exceeds all disaster. The second Bible verse is Romans 5 verse 11. We are still sinners. Christ died for us. Isn't that amazing? Just hold on a minute there and deep it. That's what my friend says, deep it. Deep what that Bible verse just says. He died for you. Meaning the Lord loves you beyond words, beyond the capability of him giving up his son to die so that we as sinners could live. So when we are doing our foolishness, when we are sinning, and just remember that the Lord died for you so that you could have life. So whatever foolishness you are doing, stop. Toxic relationships. A few months ago, I, I took part in our women's Bible study and reread the book, What Love Is by Kelly Minter. One poignant day, it was the topic of letting things just go and I held so many things in my heart of what my emotions towards people and you know broken relationships and just my hurt and just things I wasn't letting go and I thought as a Christian you shouldn't let people go you should you know hold them close to your heart you should just smother them and let you know that I still care and I still love you and even if they don't respond back or they don't feel the same, well, that's okay. That's okay. I'll just keep on showing them even though I'm hurting. Although, yes, I did it in love. It was still hurting me. And the two eventually just clashed. They went like this. It, they weren't, it wasn't blending. I wasn't happy and, you know, that person still wasn't replying. And through that, my pastor actually said, Joey, let it go. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. You know, the frozen song, let it go. It's as simple as that. And I just wasn't letting it go. So I learned the form of, sort of the form of letting it go. I mean, things still hurt me, don't get me wrong. And I still smother people and I still want to let people know that I care about them. But there comes a time and a place where if that person isn't responding, if that person isn't responding to your phone calls or text messages, or you feel like the relationship isn't, feel the relationship isn't felt on both sides, let it go. Now for me, for everyone, letting a person go is totally different. But for me, I kind of delete, delete a photo or two, delete their number, still keep them on one social media, but just kind of delete their number or block their Instagram or I put things in place so you know what I won't text them or you know what I won't look at their Instagram to see what they're up to and then I'm putting myself at risk I'm making myself sad when that's not the aspect of letting go say your boyfriend or your girlfriend broke up with you less texts and less phone calls let that go as well saying that just don't be clingy do not be clingy because at the end of the day, 
you need to understand your worth and your value. If you're constantly texting them, or constantly phoning them, or constantly, you know, liking their photos on social media, you're not letting them see your value, your strength, your beauty, your intelligence, your sense of humour. You're leaving yourself open for failure and for criticism when they need to just see how much you are worth. For me, I say my final piece and I get it done. For some friendships, I've said, you know, look, I'm still really hurt about this. I will contact you when I feel best. And I've just left it at that. In certain situations, I've come back and I've been like, you know what? Merry Christmas, a happy birthday, blah, 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 blah. But that's the process that I'm going through. You altogether could delete the number and not talk to them again until they come to you. But it's everybody's personal decision. It's everybody's personal choice. Don't feel obliged to do what I do, girl. Do not feel obliged or boy. Don't don't feel obliged. But yeah, altogether, let it go. Break it off and break it off in your own way. You can't delete the number. You don't have to delete the number, you know? Just you do you, boo. You do you. Oh my gosh, I wonder if you saw, like, how many chins I have. <laughs> and finally, being that friend. And it kind of comes under, I don't want to say toxic relationships, but sometimes people don't mean to. Sometimes people don't mean for you to be that friend. I know I'm definitely that friend in some situations or in some friends life they'll text me when they feel like texting me or they'll call me when they feel like ca calling me and they won't reply to my text messages or calls or etc etc and you feel like that friend you feel isolated but you know what you don't have to be that friend because girl the bible says he died for you so that is a big worth in itself that is a big love in itself. So you have so much worth. You have lots of worth. So do not feel belittled. Don't let people make you feel belittled. You have lots of worth. You have lots of power. And you know what? Stick by it. Either be that friend and talk to them about it. Or know you are that friend and have strength. Have a strong, strong value. Be founded in value. Be founded in Christ if you are a Christian. Because that will give you value. If you are born again Christian and you know the Lord and you have the Holy Spirit within you, you have value. You have a deep value. You have value within you. If you aren't a Christian, you know, don't let your value be your job. Don't let your value be your broken relationship or your relationship because those are temporary girl or boy when all those things come cluttering down and you die sadly you won't take all your millions all your thousands all your 5p 10p this p to your grave you're dead so don't let your value come from material things and that goes for being a christian as well let it come from the lord let it come from within. He enjoys speaking about value because it's something that I'm struggling with currently. And, you know, I've been struggling with for a while. And I went on a rant the other day on Snapchat. And I just thought, you know what? Why am I roaring? Why am I letting man's opinion, people's opinion, kind of affect how I view myself? My value comes from Christ. So why am I letting man's opinion sway who I am? Or make me feel belittled and make me feel sad. So I just kind of told myself, snap out of it. Your value is in Christ. And you know what? Just deal with it. <laughs> I hope you like, definitely comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Thank you very much. Bye.